Uh, <laughs> and then, so play Bumbo. It's very good. Very fun. Uh, and then we played this new indie game, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, surprisingly, like, I, I didn't expect a whole lot from it, right? You know, because it's like a new I game. I also didn't expect a whole lot. You know, small team. Right. Um, uh, you know, pretty, like, original idea. Like, no other game made it like it. You know? Yeah. Um, and and uh, the, the gist of it is there's, like, a whole world of these creatures. They call them, what, like, pocket is monsters it, or something? Yeah, it's something weird. Did you say yeah. Pokemon or Digimon? Because I think Digimon's a thing. I don't know about Pokemon. Oh, no, no, it's, no, it's, it's is, Pokemon. It's, it's Pokemon. like Digimon. It, it's like Digimon. Right. And some people, I mean, some people, I mean, you know, like, oh, it's like uh, they're trying to steal their, their idea. But no, it's different, right? I mean, sure, they got, what is that called? Like Dynamaxing, right? So it's yeah. a little bit like... It's like Digivolving. But you only use it in certain areas. Most of the time, you don't even, like, Digivolve or Dynamax or whatever. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, but um, uh, okay. uh, generally, it's, it's, like, it's like a more natural progression evolving just in general, and you don't go back to previous forms or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's oh, a lot of, it's like cool. 400 or something like that. Yeah, 400. Could you imagine if they had more in the game, though? That would be nuts. It feels dude. like almost too much. It would be nuts. Yeah, I think at some point you like had to cut something like the animations or the, right. the, the, the polygons you, in the game. You, yeah, because yeah, like you smooth, don't have enough like room, right? shadows. Or mm-hmm. even just no. balancing. Yeah, there's just so many different yeah, things. Like, like, how do you make a fun game with more than 400, you know, potential mm-hmm. party members, right? Because mm-hmm. it's kind of like a JRPG in a way. Yeah, it's kind nuts. of. Yeah. Anyway, so we can end this bit now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a fun bit. Yeah, I enjoyed it. it. You know, I didn't. I I expected nothing. From like actually, it. you know, I was gonna buy it no matter what. Fuck the haters. Mm. But, uh, you know, surprisingly, it's fun. It's fucking so easy though. It's insultingly yeah. easy. Uh, mm-hmm. which is kind of a disappointment. And I'm not really, I don't really care that much about difficulty, but like, it's, it's brain dead easy. Yeah. So far. So far. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I liked it. I like Let's Go. So it's, it has a lot of like quality of life <clears throat> things that are, are good. I don't know. I like it. What do you think, Spencer? Mm-hmm. You saw yeah. That? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, the vibe of the game is good. I, I like the, the, the vibe and the overall kind of world building that they have better than sun and moon i did not like sun and moon i just had to come to terms with myself i didn't like that game yeah, yeah. it just didn't it, like it just didn't grab anything with me and then they it, it, it was too i don't know what i don't know what about it it's just like like the way that they presented the world to you was so ham-fisted and like it was it was just a lot of of like trying to be hawaiian hawaiian yeah. Uh, to like an extreme degree, right? And so with this, and maybe it's just because I'm used to standard Pokemon stuff and, and the anime, it, it, this this game it leans more into the uh, the oh, there's like you know these gym battles are like big events, right? And mm-hmm. it's it, it, it it's kind of more along the lines of, of what you might see in the t- in, the, in, in the, the show, show, yeah, uh, where there's like stands of people watching these these Pokemon matches and stuff yeah. like that. Where I fucking three turned the gym leader. Yeah, Matt three turned the first gym leader. Dynamax's first Pokemon, uh, the, the, mm-hmm. the 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 first Pokemon he chose, and then you only get three turns from the Dynamax, and he defeated him in those three turns. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just only... piss poor easy. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I saw in that one Reddit thread I put on Twitter or whatever, like they had a video of like the final evolution of Sobble or whatever, one shotting like a later Pokemon gym leader. Yeah, Dynamax that's here. what made me pick. Just... That's what made me pick Sobble as my starter. Uh, Inteleon. Oh, is yeah, because that... <laughs> it's so fucking like. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> like yeah, and like, I, I was like, that's thing, like, my dog. Because <laughs> like the Dynamax is like this little cutscene, like oh shit, the Pokemon's like a. Billion stories tall. Mm-hmm. Sable Evolution uses water gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Holy shit. Like, yeah. that's the thing is, they have all the trappings of making like a really cool, competitively feeling single player mode for the game, right? Because I, I say single player mode because apparently there there's a lot of quality of life stuff they made to make things like uh, actual uh, c- com- like competitive pokemon a thing more consistently mm-hmm. compared to the other games which i think is cool i'm i'm uh, like i've always been interested in competitive pokemon but i always thought it was there wasn't enough to really go off of to make it really competitive um but uh or like long lasting 
but it, they have all the stuff there to make it possible. You Dynamax, you get in this big form. Like, why, it, why is it so easy just to kill things? You know, why can't it be like this Godzilla fight or something like that or make it more exciting? And mm. it, it, yeah, and it, the amount of hand holding is kind of absurd. Like, let's go, Poke or let's go, Pikachu it was way harder. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just like they tell you the same shit over and over again. Yeah, they're constantly like, like, like literally tutorializing uh, a thing that they just told you a little bit ago. Which actually, come to think of it, Death Stranding does that in the beginning a lot too. Like they'll retell you. Yeah, but like yeah. after that, they fuck off. Which and is good. You don't have to. It's a lot in the beginning. And then you get it. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, Pokemon's good. Are you going to get it, Fist Cake? I think I'm going to wait a while because... You're going to wait for It's the... not even like, oh, fucking Game Freak Light. It's just like, I don't care about any of the starter Pokemons. I don't really care about any of the Pokemon I've seen. I just... Nothing about it. Nothing about it sparks my heart, you know? Well, have you Just seen like, uh, um, like any? I like, will say that the standard the, gameplay, the starter Pokemon, kind of blow. Yeah, I mean, there's not, there's like, not a whole lot. To... Like the only like really cool one is the grass one. Yeah. But I yeah. like the sassiness of the water one, and I've like I can count on my fingers how many times I've picked the water starter. Which is crazy because Matt is, like, usually two. loves the water Pokemon. They all suck. Mm. Yeah. Um. No, I, I mean, uh, I, I was gonna say like. Outside of the Pokemon, you know, being chosen, being something you're into, I will say, just in general, just walking around and playing the game and, like, experiencing stuff, um, is, it, it it has, like, a nice, it's just a nice time. Yeah, it has the same feel as Let's Go, where you're like, you're like oh, this around, is this nice. Pokemon of the world, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this one, they, like, mm -hmm. kind of, they see you and they kind of run at you a little bit, and, uh, uh, you can. There's this area where there's a wall, and then a little grass area, and, and and then there's these there's these old like ruins, like stone like rocks, and you can run through there, and like the Pokemon will be like, ah, I'm gonna get you, and then you run up on the rock, and it's like, oh, I can't follow you, and so they're like surrounding you on this little rock, and it's just kind of this funny little moment, because uh, they're like low level Pokemon, you can just take them out anyways. But um, yeah. if you already have it, you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't need to fight you, go away. <laughs> yeah. Um, bye bye. But. Uh, yeah, it, like, the world building is, is nice. All the areas make sense, like, conceptually. Like, you walk through it and it feels like you're in a town, you know? Which I think is something that uh, you kind of suspend disbelief in a lot of the older Pokemon games. Um, and I think they did a really good job in this one, specifically, in making it feel like when you're in a town, you're like, it feels like you're in a town. Uh, like, I mean, like in a yes city. and no. Well, with, with limitations, because it's still a game. But I'm just talking about, like like, city identity, like it feels like a place. That's what I guess what I'm trying to say. 